Ah, hi kids, Dr. Lady here. You know, you'd think by now I'd uh, remember that that light switch is there before I go past it every week, but uh, now what are you going to do? <clears throat> Good evening and welcome back to the Mask Fan Attic. Now before we get started tonight, I want to play a game, as my little friend from the Saw movies would say. <clears throat> now uh, just quickly, tonight's game is called Creature from the Black Lagoon or Zat. Okay, now uh, here's how it works. First, uh, I'd like you to take a look at this picture of the creature from the Black Lagoon. Okay, you see, you see him? That is the creature from the Black Lagoon, that famous matinee idol of the 50s and one of the uh, classic Universal Studios monsters. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Okay, did you get a good look at that picture? Could you, could you identify him in a police lineup if you had to? Okay, you took a good look? Okay, now take a look at this next picture. This is the monster from the movie Zat, produced and starring and released and made and written by people you've never heard of apart from in connection with the movie Zat. Okay, did you get a good look at him? That was a monster from Zat. Okay, now um, uh, the question, Creature from the Black Lagoon or Zat? I'm going to hold up this licensed official, official Universal Studios Monsters uh, toy right here, piece of merchandising. It's a, it's a little head like you'd uh, hang on your uh, rear view mirror of your uh, motor vehicle. I'm gonna hold this up and you, you just tell me, see that's, the question is, Creature from the Black Lagoon or Zat? Okay, it has the words Creature from the Black Lagoon right on the back of the tag there. And the question is, Creature from, okay, tonight's mask, <clears throat> I'll start again, you may remember uh, if you're a fan of uh, masks and monsters and cool things like that, you may remember The Mad Doctor, a famous mask uh, originating back in the 1960s with Don Post Studios. Now, The Mad Doctor generally looked like an older guy with gray hair and a beard. And, uh, well, when we were kids, a lot of us weren't sure who that was, because um, Dr. Frankenstein, maybe? I don't know. I wasn't even sure who he was mad at at the time. But it uh, turns out he's actually from a, a Boris Karloff role played in 1944, House of Frankenstein, he, he played Dr. Neiman. So that mad doctor mask actually was Dr. Neiman. That's who it was based on, not Dr. Frankenstein. But uh, the Dr. Neiman uh, mad doctor mask, several versions were available over the years looking more or less like uh, Boris Karloff. And uh, some later ones were called Mad Scientist and looked a lot less like Boris Karloff, but still generally looked like an older gent with gray hair and a beard. Uh, but did you know, here's tonight's, did you know, did you know that the Mad Doctor, or Dr. Neiman if you prefer to call him that, if you're on that uh, personal basis with him, Dr. Neiman made a second sojourn into the world of masks in the year 2000, oddly enough, thanks to the folks at Elusive Concepts. There was a Boris Karloff Mad Doctor, once again based loosely this time on Neiman. Now this, uh, this guy was only available for a year or two. He wasn't around for a long time. And you might think it's strange that they would have uh, undertaken a project like this in the year 2000, 2001. Uh, and I thought so too, but it was really cool to see uh, a Boris Karloff likeness of any kind being sold in places like Spencer's. Uh, in 2000, 2001, uh, Halloween uh, seasons, uh, because, you know, people under 60 were shopping at Spencer's, and there were Boris Karloff Mad Doctor masks that could be had there. Neighborhood of 40, 45 bucks. Very, very inexpensive. Strangely, this particular Boris Karloff Mad Doctor has entirely different uh, hair and beard work from the Don Post versions, and the Don Post versions really looked a lot like Karloff as Neiman. The Elusive Concepts one from 2000 here kind of looks more like uh, what if Boris Karloff had played Gandalf in Lord of the Rings or maybe Dumbledore in um, Harry Potter. But it's beautifully sculpted, absolutely great likeness of Boris Karloff, uh, sculpted by Mario Sciotto, who seems to have kind of an ongoing obsession with sculpting likenesses of Boris Karloff. He's done quite a few of them over the years. This one, beautifully sculpted. A couple of other uh, Karloff versions were available. One, uh, completely hairless and completely bald. Okay, that means the same thing. Completely without hair, let's say. 
uh, and that one was supposed to be Mord, the Karloff role in The Tower of London from 1939. Mord the Executioner, that was the bald one. The one with the hair and the wizard beard that doesn't look like Neiman's hair and beard was just called Boris Karloff Mad Doctor. That's what it was called. And uh, well, um, I, I don't know why he seems to be green. He does appear to be green. Now I saw photos of these back in the day and they were not green at all. They were sort of a normal uh, pale uh, light peach Caucasian flesh tone uh, which makes more sense because really for a guy to have green skin that seems more like something that would have been, would have been created by a mad doctor rather than the doctor himself but I don't know. Maybe they thought it needed to look more creepy and spooky or something. But uh, the, the hair on this guy, as you can see, very, very long. It's rooted or sewn in. And I'm going to flop it over here so you can see the back. It's, uh, it's a full head, but the neck doesn't come down in the back. But it does cover the full head, so you can't call it a three-quarter mask. It is a full head, but it doesn't have a back of the neck. But it has a pretty nice, generous neck bib in the front, making it easy to costume or work into a display figure. One thing I'm not crazy about with this guy uh, is that the eyebrows don't have actual hair on them. They're just painted on and for some strange reason they're kind of a dark brown rather than gray. Uh, if you do find one of these in good condition and want to add it to your horror collection, you might want to glue some dark gray hair on those eyebrows just to make it a little more lifelike. The eyes themselves, very, very nicely painted for something in the uh, $40 to $50 price range very nice job on that and again beautifully sculpted just uh, um, maybe excessively green I think for a mad doctor that and uh, the hair and mustache being really strange but still kind of a cool piece and if you do need uh, for your Halloween a haunted attraction or Halloween party or whatever if you need uh, a, a creepy old man he could also be he wouldn't have to be used as a mad doctor he could be like an old hermit or uh, an old, uh, uh, well, the ghost of the Mad Doctor, since he's green. The Mad Doctor of, of the Living Dead that haunts the swamp. It, I don't know. But uh, you get the idea. Pretty nice. The Boris Karloff uh, Mad Doctor. Not the Don Post one, but a little known, seldom seen, and entirely forgotten, almost, uh, version from around 2000-2001 by the folks at Elusive Concepts. And... Beyond that, I got nothing tonight.